الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وأزواجه أجمعين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقطة من لساني يفقه قولي ربي زدني علما أجمعين إن شاء الله May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase in all of us knowledge. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Nice to see you all brothers and sisters. Today is one of the coldest day of the winter. Huh? The wind chill is uh, minus 20, 25, so it's really, really cold. I'm glad uh, you could make it today, alhamdulillah. We start from where we left yesterday, brothers and sisters. Lesson number uh, three. Page 36, exercise number 10. Huh? It's takhrij. What kind of a verb is this? Form 10. Fine. Now, this is the way we go. Form, then we say possible, bab, istif, alo. Istif, alo. So what will happen? This thing, the pattern of bab will stay in your mind. Huh? Then you won't... Uh, you know, you will be fast in identifying. The next thing, is it Madi, is it Mudarya, is it Amar? Huh? If it is Mudarya, then is it Marfu, Mansu, Majzum? Huh? If it is Majzum, why? All these things come, should come in succession in our mind. Is is fail Amar? What is the Madi? Is Takhraja. Uh, what is the root? Kharaja, see? Huh? Istakhraj means take out. Minadar si afal al mabniyatan lil majhul wadkur naib fa'ili kulli wahidin minha. We did that. Huh? We, while we were studying, we were conscious of that and we were noting it down. Number 11. Yuwajihu. What is Yuwajihu, brothers and sisters? Huh? It is passive voice? Form 2. Form 2. Form 2. Huh? No, I heard passive voice and form 5. So this is Wajjaha. What is the verb? To direct, to direct something. Yuvajihu. Huh? Yuvajihu al-mudarisu. Mudaris directs 
ila kulli talibin haza sawal means she he directs that question to them you know fi ayyi amin wulita fa yujibu talibu what is yujibu everything madi mudari should come to our mind yujibu this is mudari from there is no shadda here form 4 okay what is the madi ajab what is it ajab yujibu to answer and yujibu talibu and the the student uh, answers kailan saying uh, saying kailan saying walid tu ama kaza so and so lil hijri or lil milad badian what is badian beginning uh, it comes from bada uh, badian this is ismu fa'il huh, brother kailan is also ismu fa'il but they are mansub uh, okay badian bil adad al adna adna means the uh, small number uh, the lowest number so uh, Here is the example in that uh, lesson, brothers and sisters. I will point out to you. You should make a note of it. Fi ayi amin bulita anta ya Ahmad. What is the answer? Bulitu ama, and then the smallest number. Saba atin, seven. Wasatina. Sixty, but this emiatin, nine hundred. Wa alfin, nineteen hundred. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, you started with the smallest number, and then you went to the next, and then you went to the hundred, and then you went to the thousand. So this is the best way of uh, expressing the year. You start with the smallest number. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? This is the meaning of badi an bil adadil adna. Adna is a very interesting word. You will be surprised when we study this word later on in book three. It's very beautiful word. And brother, just to throw you and an idea the dunya comes from adna the word dunya comes from adna but we'll study it later on inshallah number 12 brothers and sisters very simple tu zaful alif wa lam min al alam al muqtarini bihima indal nidai what is the idea that when you are calling somebody uh, the alif and lam is dropped uh, from the name which is already joined with alif lam uh. look at here brothers and sisters muktarini what is muktarinu Mu has come, so either it is ism file or it is maful. But muktari, so it is ism file. Now we figure out what form of verb it is. Huh? See, we are training our mind now for all these things. You know, remember I have said many times, you will be able to identify each and every verb in the Quran. You may not know the meaning because we have to make an effort to. learn the vocabs in the quran but at least you will know how the verb was made or what is the root is it madi mudariya amar ism fa'il ism maful master you will be able to know form 8 so what is the verb uh, iktarana what is the verb iktarana yakta rinu means to join or connect ha huh? iktarana yakta rinu Muktari nu means uh, it is joined. Uh, 
the, pro, the name is joined uh, with Alif and Lam. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? The Hima. Hima goes to Alif and Lam. Hmm? Okay. Now that, what is joined, Alif and Lam is joined, it is dropped. Uh, when you call somebody. Are you with me? So, Nah. Example, Al Hasanu. So what will you say? Ya Hasan. So we dropped Alif and Lam. That's all. There is to know. Ya Hussain. Okay. Ya Hussain. From uh, Al Hasan, it became Ya Hasan. And Al Hussain became Ya Hussain. Al Zubair became Ya Zubair. Al Haris became Ya Haris. Al Bara became Ya Bara. That's all. So in other words, you dropped Alif and Lam. When you added Harfunida Ya. Got the idea, brother and sister? Sister Nasri? This is very easy. Huh? Al Nasbu. But then, watch the spelling. It is seen and not Swad. Huh? Okay? Swad has a different meaning. Okay. This is, you know, to create a relationship huh? by adding Ya to a noun. Okay? Ilhaku. Okay, fine, brother. What is Ilhaku? Ilhaku. Master, mashallah. Sister Hafza, now tell me what is the verb? Alhaka. What is it? Alhaka. Ilhaq is ifal. 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 I am hoping that our young sisters, you know, one day will become scholars and will write books, <laughs> inshallah. Huh? Because you are, your mind is now becoming sharp, you know. Alhamdulillah, but it gives me immense pleasure when I hear your answers, you know. El Haq is Ifal. So it means it is the pattern of Bab Ifal, which is form four. Huh? So El Haku is coming from Al Haqqa. Same thing, to join, okay? Ya'i, ilhaku, ya'i. Mudaf, mudaf ilahi. Ya'in. Mushaddadatin. Mushaddadatin. What is this, mushaddadatin? Shaddada, form two. Shaddada. And this is mushadda. So it's a maful. It's just maful, fine. Fi akhir al ismi li tadullu ala nisbatihi to indicates its relation to it, you know, nahwa. Al Hindu, what is Al Hindu? India. Min al Hindi, ana min al Hindi. I am from India. Anta min al Hindi, anti min al Hindi. You know, we read this in our lessons. So Al Hindu is India. Now how do we call Indian? A person from India? Hindi Yun. So what did you do? You added a ya, but what kind of a ya? Mushaddada. Huh? You added ya mushaddada. Fine. So if you are from Guyana, how, do, how will you define yourself as Guyanese? Guyani Yun. Guyani Yun. If you are from Misr, uh, Misri Yun. Suri Yun. Are you with me, brother and sister? Pakistani Yun. Afghanistani Yun. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Huh? So this is the job of the Ya Mushaddada. It creates a relationship. Huh? Al-Iraq, Iraqi Yun. Unsub. Make a relationship. al asmail atiyati The following nouns, brother. Sudan, Sudani Yun. This is very easy. Al Yaban, Yabani Yun. Okay. Nahu, grammar. So grammarian, Nahu V Yun, Nah V Yun, Nah V Yun. Okay. I'm leaving Nabi later for later on. Al Kuwait, Kuwaiti Yun. Okay. Adinu. 
diniyun so you have to before ya give a kasra okay at tarikhu tarikhiyun tarikhiyun before ya comes a kasra now comes al akhu akh viyun now here wow you don't see wow in al akhu but the wow comes when you give a this this part ha akh viyun okay brotherly okay and from nabi nabawiyun so this is little different from the normal and abu abawiyun fatherly ha huh? are you with me brothers and sisters this is not difficult inshallah you will uh, keep this in mind no? is takhrij min ad-darsi amsilatan lin nasbi what was in the lesson with ya mushadda bagista ni yun isan anta anta isan bagistani yun you remember okay fine aina wulita wulitu fi bagistana anta isan bagistani yun then you are pakistani fine brother is there anything else rawahu al bukhari what is al bukhari it is al bukhari you huh? means he was from bukhara are you with me brother and sisters fine and nabawi yun fine brother and sister here is something else to keep it in mind we are used to ukhra huh? ukhra means adab but ukhra is a monness huh? what is the jama of ukhra ukharu and ukharu is also diptot so keep that in mind wa hiya mamnuatun min asaf means it is a diptot qala ta'ala fa man kana minkum maridan aw ala safarin fa iddatun min ayamin ukhara see why ukhara diptot ayamin is majrur so ukhara here is also majrur but it did not decline fully huh? is it clear brothers and sisters now there are more explanation in the key of book 3 i urge you to read the key whenever you get an opportunity keep it next to your bedside huh? whenever you get an opportunity read page or two of the key it will just give you more in depth uh, knowledge brothers and sisters i found book 3 key fantastic help fantastic help brother dr saheb uh, dr abdurahim has you know really done us a great favor by writing the keys inshallah okay now brothers and sisters here is number 16 taammal fi al amrin mabni ala sukun form 5 bab I will say tabassum just to make it easy brothers and sisters fine yastatiu tastatiu astatiu what is this brother this is five in your pocket what is the madi istata yesterday we did it huh? remember i had written let us conjugate yastatiu yastati ani yastati una tastatiu tas tati ani and then yas ta tiana yas ta tiana that was correct and then anta tas tati u tas tati ani tas tati una and anti tas tati ina yes tas tati ina that is correct and then tas tati ani and then antunna tasta tiana ha tasta tiana only in mutaharrik pronoun which is hunna and antunna uh, change will take place because it will be iltikai sakinaini meeting of the two sukuns ha? okay alhamdulillah what is the meaning of istata he was able to or he can ha? we did it yesterday a little bit brothers and sisters so here is number 1 man yastatiu ay yaktuba darsa ala saburati bi khattin wadihin translation brother who is able to write on the blackboard with clear nice handwriting 
Are you with me, brother? Who is able to? Uh, who can? Who can write? Fine, mother, sister. Atastatiyun antasuka shahinatan ya zubair. Brother Abdul Samad, you translate this. Can you, uh, you, can you, are you able to? Saka yasuku. What is the meaning of saka yasuku? Drive. Eh? What is the ism file of saka? Saikun. What is the meaning of Saikun? Driver. 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 Huh? So, Brother Abdul Samad, Atastatiyu and Tasuka Shahinatan. What is Shahinatan? Truck. <laughs> Are you with me? Can you drive a truck? <coughs> yes, man. I'm sure Brother Abdul Samad can. <laughs> okay. Fine. Did you understand, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Now here is another word here which is so common in Urdu language, you know. Hadhi risa la hadhi risa la tu tu ha hadhi mubtada a risa la tu badal mashallah bi khattin radiin what is radiin not good huh? It's not, it's not good, brother. I mean, you say, you say uh, in Urdu, ye cheez raddi hai. It means bekar hai. It is of no value. Huh? Raddi. But it is raddi um. Very common word in Urdu language. Raddi hai. Means, it, it's of, uh, it's no good, of no value. Fine. So, but raddi um is Arabic. Okay. Hadhihi rasalatu bi khattin radin means it is in a terrible handwriting. Terrible handwriting, brother. La astatiyu an akraha. Translation? I am not able to read it. I can't read it. Atastatiyu an takraha anta ya bara. Read this, huh? Okay, fine. Uh, uh, well, who are the notorious for this kind of a handwriting? Doctors. <laughs> Only they can read what they write. You know? Yes, true, very true, correct. Radhiin is the Nas for Khatin. Khatin is handwriting. Are you with me? Khatin is handwriting. Alhamdulillah, you, you understood it, brother. MashaAllah. Now, Anti. Atasta. Tina and Tagsali Hadi Hil Mala Bisa Alyom Ya Laila. How will you translate? Are you able to wash these clothes today? Huh? Or can you wash these clothes today? Or are you able to wash? Alhamdulillah. You got it, huh, brothers and sisters? You got it. Here comes Tamal Mayali. Ponder what follows. Salla. What is Salla? Form two. Madi. Huh? Okay. Yusalli mudariya. Mudariya. And then Salli Amar. Allahumma Salli Allah. This is where we always hear this uh, verb, but we never understand because we don't know the language. Every day we say Allahumma Salli Allah Muhammad. We say every day, brother. Salli is the Amar. Means send your blessings on Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and on his progeny, eh? and then we say on his companions and on his wives, ajma'in inshallah. Eh? Okay, this is what we every day say, brothers and sisters. Okay, now here is a question that I was put by one of the student. Kutila Omaru. Bahuwa yusalli. Bin nasi. Okay. So what is this yusalli? Is it majhul? Bahuwa yusalli. It is hal. But what is this verb yusalli? Mudariya. What is mahdi? Salla yusalli. Salla yusalli. So it is mudari. Huh? What's the difference between the majul for this? You still link just a fatah and kasrat, that's it? 
Inshallah, we are going to learn it. Huh? I don't want to go in too much detail now. Huh? Uh, uh, otherwise, uh, it can get a little confusing. Because right now, we are understanding the majul form of fiel sulasi. Huh? So let us stay with it. And inshallah, in our next uh, two, three sessions, we will come across this. And it's very easy. Everything, like yesterday we did it, if you remember. Uh, what was this? Samma, you sammi, same form, brother. Salla, you salli. Samma, you sammi. Uh, and what was the majul of samma? Summiya. Okay, let me write it down again to refresh your memory. Uh. Okay, brothers and sisters. Samma, you sammi. Remember, we did it in detail yesterday. It is salla you salli. Now make majhul. Huh? Summiya. What is it? As soon as you gave ain kalima kasra, ya became visible. Huh? Summi. When there was a fata, ya changed into alif. Huh? Summiya. Huh? I will have to give fata. Okay, and then brothers and sisters. You sum me is your fail lil ma'alum. And make it majhul. Got the idea, brother? Now, what is the trick? I told you the trick yesterday. I'm deliberating, stretching them. For Ila, in Mahdi, huh? Dr. Sahib is explaining in a very nice way. He says, Ma kabla ahirihi. What is before the end? But I, you know, I observe and I see that every time the Ain Kalima comes at the end, before Lam Kalima. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So this is your Lam Kalima, this is your Ain Kalima. In Madi, in Majhul, Ain Kalima will get a Kasra. Are you with me? And anything before it will get a Dhamma. If there is a Sukun, to se Sukun se rehne de. <laughs> Don't touch it. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Huh? That is the formula for formula for Madi. So see, Samma, where is the Ain Kalima? Me. Huh? And so we make it a kasra, me, and anything before is dhamma. So how many words are there? Only one. So it became summiya. Sahi? Huh? Summiya. Okay. We will get more examples later on in China. Now, brothers and sisters, yufa'alu. Now in the mudariya, the ain kalima will get a fatah. It's a rule. Fixed rule for majhul. Are you with me? And, and before it, we will start with alamatu mudarya, which will get a dhamma. So that is fine. But anything else will get a fata. Are you with me? And if there is a sukun, let it stay in peace. Don't touch it. Are you with me? This is a formula, brother. If you keep that in mind, inshallah, uh, you will find things are not difficult. The only difficulty is that we are not very much used to majhul. But now that we understand, and Dr. Saab will bring it in the dars, so you will be able to understand it. That's it, brother and sister. So, you for alu, ain kalima is a fatah. Everything fatah before it, except the alamatu mudhari. Huh? And here, everything kasra, okay, and before it, dhamma. Huh? Re remember this formula, brothers and sisters, and inshallah we will be able to do this. Uh, 
If there is a sukun, leave it in peace. Don't touch it. Are you with me? If there is a sukun, let it be there. But if there is a mutaharik letter, it will change into fatah in mudariya. And in mahdi, okay. Now, since you are all very anxious, I'm, I'm going to do one thing. Very nice verb. And then we are going to do later on. It comes in the Quran. Brothers and sisters. Watch this, huh? Now, I was not supposed to do this, but there is no harm in it because when it comes later on in the dars, you already have a good idea. Tawaffa. What form is this? Huh? It is coming from Waffa. Huh? Okay? And you know the word wafa, yeah. faithfulness, yeah. it comes from from the base form. Huh? Tawaffa means he caused him to die. What is the meaning of it? He caused him to die. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Also, it means to settle your account properly. To settle the account properly. So Allah is going to settle our account properly, whether you like it. Or you don't like it. Huh? That is the sunnah of Allah. That he will settle your account. And he will be well, he'll be just. Okay. If you have wronged yourself, the punishment is equal. But if you have done some good deeds, then the reward is tenfold. Now this is his sign of being merciful and rahim and rahman. Okay, brother and sister, tawaffa. Make it into mudariya. Farm five, fata, fata, fata. Farm six, fata, fata, fata. Ya tawaffa. Ya tawaffa. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Ya tawaffa. Now, brother Abdul Samad, I want you to make amar out of it. Drop the ya. <laughs> okay. Uh, brother? Rabbana innana samiyana munadiyai yunadi lil iman an aminu bi rabbikum fa amanna Rabbana faghfir lana zunubana وَكَفِّرْ عَنَّا سَيِّعَاتِنَا وَا تَوَفِّنَا Okay. وَا تَوَفْنَا مَا الْأَبْرَارِ وَتَوَفْنَا مَا الْأَبْرَارِ Brother, this is such a beautiful dua. Can you... Can you imagine a Muslim is asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to cause me, let me die. We are praying that, Ya Allah, give me a death. People want to live and I'm asking for the death? No. A Muslim is never afraid of death. Because he knows the time is set. When his time is set, he has no, he has no choice. For me, it could be this afternoon or this evening. Or tomorrow. I have no choice there. It's all set. So sometimes we, we grieve too much. And we forget that the life and death Allah has kept in his hand. If he causes you to die, that's it. You will die. So why should we have fuss? You know, why should we grieve? Of course, it's a loss. But we must understand that this is the way Allah has given us life and this is the way He is going to take it away whenever He wants it. And the time is all fixed. So we are praying, brothers and sisters, Let us analyze this. This is a dua. Tawaffa Fialu amrin mabniyun ala harfi illa Where is the file? 
mustatir taqdiruhu anta and who is anta allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and what is this na doing here maful means oh allah cause me to die huh? but how mal abrar with the people who are pious and the abrars you know the people who are pious they are the muqarrabins they will be the closest to allah so i want to be closest to allah and i'm praying ya allah if you cause me to die i'm ready but let me die with the people who are pious means i must become pious huh? i must be very pious when my time comes to depart from this world and you know we say also this is arabic that so and so uh, intikal what is it uh, we take the meaning of intikal as death uh, in urdu we say uska intikal ho gaya uh, but intikal means you change the residence that's how you didn't die you just change your residence intikal okay tell me the verb brother and sisters in the car first tell me what is the pattern form 8 if the alun now give me the verb intakala what is the verb intakala what is mudarya yantakilu and then is some file will be muntakil the person who changed the residence or he moved okay brothers and sisters look at it carefully what is the root nakala to transport nakal to transport huh? so brother how beautiful this is when you say uska intikal ho gaya in the literal translation is he died but the actual meaning is he moved his address, his residence he is no longer the residence of this planet and he has now gone to live somewhere else you know and which will be akhirah inshallah okay brothers and sisters so see how beautiful this is tawaffa okay i thought i should explain you very beautiful dua brother you should inshallah we will analyze the whole of the last last ruku of ali imran and, and you will feel such a solace in your heart the duas are just incredible and who can teach these duas only allah can teach us brother no human being can you can come up with these duas it is the allah who with his great mercy has shown us these things and we must memorize it and and, and say it in our salah you know and our daily duas inshallah huh? okay brothers and sisters now we come to our majhul tawaffa so where is the ain kalima yeah ain ya fa give it a kasra first you give it a kasra i am not putting any vowel signs first i am putting a kasra here what will happen to ya it will become visible what will it become brother it will become visible to who okay fi ya okay one step at a time now what is our formula that before ain kalima everything will get dhamma put dhammas now to who fia got the idea see how it happened two dhammas why two dhammas because before ain kalima any mutaharik letter will get dhamma if there is a sukun we will leave it sukun to who fia what is the meaning of to tawaffa means someone caused someone to die ha to who fia mean he died he died to who fia if i say to who fia fula fula nun ha okay let me write down to who fia fula nun fula nun means somebody ha this is so common in indian language falana bhai falana bhai so and so are you with me brother hasan 
Huh? And in Urdu also we say Fulana. Means somebody. So, Tuvufia Fulanun means somebody died. Was caused to die. Somebody was caused to die. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, Tuvufia is the, huh? fine. Now, if I say Yatavafa, ya ta waf fa Okay? How do I make majhul? If I have to. Huh? See, what is the rule? That before, before, Ain Kalima will get a fata. Is there a fata there? Yes. So, the, the Alamutu Mudana will get a Dhamma. Okay, let me give Dhamma. And anything else will remain or get fata. Are there fata there? Khalas. So what is your majul? Yutawaffa. Khalas. Yutawaffa. And what is lil ma'alum? Yatawaffa. Are you with me, sister uh, Maimuna? What will be the al-fayalul mudariu lil ma'alum? Yatawaffa. Lil majhul? Yatawaffa. Now, because it is a new concept, you may find that it's not coming in your mind with ease. And if it doesn't come in your mind with ease, what shall I say, brother? It's normal. Uh, We have to make little extra practice, inshallah. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? And then, inshallah, you will master it. Now, the last thing, brother and sister, yatawaffa. I want you to, I will write it again, brother. Yata Wafa. Okay. This is tricky, but I want to test your knowledge. Remember, the verb is nakes. Remember? So we should remember all the rules of making ism file and ism maful for the nakes verbs. Huh? Fine. Make ism file. Muta? Muta waffin. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Sister Rahima. Zadikillahu ilman. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you and all of us with knowledge. Muta waffin. Muta waffin. Like this. Huh? Two kasra. And if I put alif, lam, then the ya will come out. Al muta waffi. Now, brothers and sisters, people make mistakes because they don't know the language. They will even say for the person who died as mutawaffi. No, brother. Mutawaffi is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who is mutawaffi? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the person who died, what he will be called? Mutawaffa. So people can make mistakes, brother, here. So it will be Mu ta waf fun like fatan mustash fun eh? mustafan eh? now this is indefinite are you with me what did I say this is indefinite mutawaffa but we will always pronounce it as mutawaffa we say fata it is actually fatan we say fata. So mutawaffa. Who is mutawaffa? The person who died. And who is mutawaffi? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Only he can cause someone to die. Nobody, you know, can take that authority from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That authority Allah has kept with himself. Nobody can share that authority. He is the supreme master of this Universe and everything that he has created. So, mutawaffin is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mutawaffan is the person who died. And if you put here al, brothers and sisters, then it will become mutawaffa, like that. And if you put al here, brothers and sisters, it will become al 
मृताव फी ओके आई जस्ट गेव यू अ लिटल टेस्ट ऑफ लेसन नंबर ट्वेंटी टू ओके ब्रदर पर इंशाला दिस इज इंटरेस्टिंग जी नो दैट इज फॉर्म सिस्टर दैट इज बेस फॉर्म वफा उन है ना वफा वफा उन एंड वफात इज ऑल्सो देयर देयर बट दैट ऑल बेस फॉर्म दैट इज नॉट अप्लीकेबल हियर नो बेस फॉर्म फेम फ्रॉम फ्रॉम फेल फुलासी मुजारत बिकॉज द ओरिजिनल वन इज वफा okay this is your original okay no brothers and sisters i hope you found it interesting you didn't get bored ha huh? truly speaking i was fascinated by these changes and when i understood i was so thrilled that there is so much to learn ha huh? in the arabic language arabic language is so beautiful so vast ha huh? and so interesting and so logical and scientific huh, that we must inshallah learn and this way the quran will appear in the most beautiful you know treasures with his treasures the head the the treasures of the quran are inside huh, but it cannot appear until you learn the language of the quran quran is the living miracle of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the ultimate miracle of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all the prophets received some miracle did i tell you about this i did tell you about the musa alai salam isa alai salam what did our prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam received he received a miracle which will never die an everlasting miracle perpetual miracle that miracle will remain till the end of time and nobody can you know come to that level of producing anything which is the miracle of quran quran is on the top of the summit it it is on, on the summit it is on the top okay nothing can go to that level so quran is the miracle quran is the noor are you with me brother but the light is off the switch is off are you with me here you put a nice beautiful you know electronic fixtures in your uh, living room and you come and enter the living room the switch is on you turn on the switch it enlightens the whole room you know but what happens if the switch is off there is a darkness uh, the switch is the arabic language brothers and sisters and this is what i say without the knowledge of arabic there is a darkness you can memorize the quran but it cannot touch your heart so there is a darkness how will you enlighten that noor in your heart the noor of quran in your heart when you learn the language of the quran but these are the things that when i heard i said if that is so then i must learn arabic and 10 years ago i started my journey to learn arabic and it took me to many countries to many people and i did it on my own brother sisters i had little savings and i used my savings to go abroad and now i'm sharing everything with you are you with me brother and sister sumaya so, you don't have to go to learn everywhere anywhere else you just have to come to talimul islam and you learn here you don't have to, to go, go to jordan or egypt you will go to jordan and egypt for higher studies eh huh? for the basic knowledge of arabic come to talim ul islam <laughs> alhamdulillah and here you get your foundation and then when you will go abroad inshallah you won't be walking you will be flying inshallah ha huh? she serves us she serves us all of you are very young you know the young sisters are very dear to me they are like my daughters you know when i see their dedication and enthusiasm it gives me an extra pleasure because i see in them the leadership for our community inshallah
Alhamdulillah. Okay, brothers and sisters, I hope I didn't bore you. Huh? Okay. Now we come. Uh, where are we now, brothers and sisters? Yeah. Salla yusalli salli. Asalaita zohar ya Hussein. Salaita. What is salaita? Salai with sukun, fiel. And ta, fahil. Salaitu fil masjid al haram. I prayed in the masjid, which is in Makkah. Well, fil masjid al nabawi sharif. And that is in Madina. Wa ohibbu. Oh, 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 what is ohibbu? Ahabba yuhibbu. Yuhibbu. Five in your pocket. Yuhibbu, tohibbu, tohibbu, ohibbu, nohibbu. And this is uh, form uh, four. Uh, and then this is, brothers and sisters, uh, four letter. Uh, so it is ohibbu. Okay, and it is a transitive. We need mafulun bihi. Ohibbu. Where is our mafulun bihi? Masdar mu'awwal. An usalli. Brothers and sisters, an usalli. Ya. Remember that. Mansub al usalli. Ya. Fine. Very good, brothers and sisters. Fil masjid al-aqsa. What is masjid al-aqsa, brothers and sisters? There it is in Jerusalem. Bi iznillah. With the permission of Allah. Have you been to Jerusalem, brothers and sisters? You have, brother Hassan? MashaAllah. I also got an opportunity. I went there for four days. And I used to live very close to Masjid al-Aqsa. And I prayed there every day. It's a beautiful, beautiful sight. It is so beautiful. The memory will linger in your heart forever and ever. Inshallah. One day, there will be peace there. Inshallah. And all the faith, which is uh, Yahud and Nasara and Muslim, they will live in peace, inshallah. They have lived in peace before. And there is no reason why we cannot live in peace. Huh? For 900 years, uh, the Muslims uh, ruled over Palestine, brothers and sisters. And this, the history testifies that the Muslims gave freedom of worship to everybody. Uh, when Muslims were the rulers, the Christians were allowed to pray, to build their churches. Uh, the Jews were allowed to pray. They had never told them, become Muslim, otherwise you cannot live here. No, 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 no. no. They, in, in, in Islam, there is no force. La ikraha fid deen. There is no force, you know. So, we can all live together peacefully. Uh, there is no reason why not. And Quran teaches us that. Are you with me, brother? The teaching of the Quran is to live in peace and harmony. Uh, inshallah, Allah will uh, make us see that day in our lifetime, inshallah. Okay, brothers and sisters. Salli bina ya shay. What is the meaning of salli bina? Here is amar. Salli bina means you lead us in the prayer. You lead us in the prayer. We are saying, Ya Shaykh, O Shaykh, O learned man, uh, you be the Imam and you lead us in the prayer. That is the meaning of it. Okay. La tusalli al faraida fil bayt. Brother, our fard salah, uh, five times. Okay. If you are close to masjid, it is obligatory to go to the masjid. If you are far, of course, then it is not practical. But as much as it is possible, we should pray with the jamaat. Okay. Here is brother, La tusalli. What is this? Tusalli. What kind of a la is this? La annahiyatu. What is tusalli? Fe'lun mudhariyun majzumun wa alamatu jazmihi hadfu harfi illa. You will say hadfu harfi illa. Okay. Inshallah. وَأَلَامَةُ جَزْمِهِ هَذْفُ حَرْفِ إِلَّا Very good, brothers and sisters. لَمَّا أُسَلِّي Okay, brother, Lamma. Not yet. But this is also, what is it? حَرْفُ جَزَم Are you with me? It will give jazam, like lam. Okay? 
So like lung, it will give fail mudarya, jazam. Brother? Okay. Usalli. Same thing. Failun mudaryun majzumun wa alamatu jazmihi adfu harfi illa. Fine, brother. Lamma usalli al asa. What is the meaning of it? I haven't yet prayed asa. Very good, brother and sister. Number 18, I think we are all familiar with it. And sometimes we remember, sometimes we forget. But I am skipping number 18. Okay, inshallah. It's very clear. You can read it and understand, brother. The 12 months of Muslim calendar. The Ammal Mayali. Okay, ponder, brother. Imma, write down either. Wa Imma, write down or. So how do you say either and or in, in Arabic? You'll say, Al-ismu fil lughat al arabiyati The noun in the Arabic language, Imma, either, Mudakkarun, Wa Imma, Muannasun. So, Wa Imma means or. Huh? Not and or, but just or. O-R. Huh? Either or. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Very good. Imma, Tazuruni, what is the meaning of this? Either you visit me, wa imma azu, or I visit you. I visit you. Fine, brothers and sisters. Ibrahimu, what about Ibrahim? Imma maridun, wa imma musafirun. What is musafir, brother? I know that. <laughs> ism, ism file. From where? Safara Yusafiru. Huh? Uh, we should know that. Alhamdulillah. Adkhil imma fi thala fi jumalin min insha'ika. Use imma in three different sentences from your own composition. Would you be able to try and do it, brothers and sisters? At home? Uh, fine, brothers and sisters. Al ismu, the noun, imma. Nu'arabun wa imma mabrihun. Khalas. The noun in Arabic language is either mu'arab or it is mabni. Adduyufu, the guest. Imma yashrabuna al-kahwa or imma yashrabuna shai. They are either drinking coffee or tea. Inshallah. Imma nal'abu, either we play, wa imma nazhabu ila Edward Garden. Uh, or we go to the Edward Garden. Uh, two of the things, either we play or we go to the garden. Nazhabu ila hadikati, Edward. Brothers and sisters, 20. Al-harbu, battle, not a nice verb, brother. Not a nice verb, brother. But al-harbu is muannas. Taqulu, you say, al-harbul alamiyatu. What is harbul alamiyatu? World war. And because it is muannas alamiyatu, so you say ula, first world war. And if you say saniyatu, second world war. Al-harbul ahliyatu. This is very interesting. Al-harbul ahliyatu, civil war. What is it? Like American Civil War, you know. Okay, brothers and sisters, number 21. Number 21. Hati, give mudariya rafal al atiyati. Mudariya after following verbs, brother. Hawa yahwi. You know the meaning of hawa? To possess or to contain. Huh? I wrote down yesterday the meaning, brothers and sisters. Kabada. Yakbidu. Fine, brothers and sisters. Saraka. To steal. Yasriku. Huh? Write down, brothers and sisters. Huh? And if you want to write down, uh, you can also write down in the bracket, Dod or Noon or Fa. What will, will it mean, brothers and sisters? Bab Daraba, or Bab Nasara, or Bab Fataha, you know, Sister Sukhaina, 
in the in the small bracket just one initial da means it is bab darava any sometimes this will also help you you know dr abdul rahim he has uh, written something like that uh, a i or a u or a a it means same thing you know and mana yamnau huh? to prevent prohibit okay inshallah ladaga to sting to bite huh? yaldahu ba fatah nasaba to set up yan sibu to set up huh? salaba yes lubu and it can be yes libu also so sometimes in the dictionary you will find two forms of uh, barbs you know yes lubu and yes libu but then most of the time it is yes lubu brothers and sisters huh? yes lubu huh? to crucify huh? okay sarra yasurru hajja yahujju so what kind of a barb will this be barb nasara huh? inshallah inshallah hati jama okay brother and sister hati jama harbun hurubun huh? you want me to write it or when i say you are able to write it huh? hurubun if there is a difficult word i will write down brother wasanun the idols awthanun awthanun huh? and if you have any difficulty sometimes if you are confused about the spelling where will you go and check that's one thing but easiest way is keep hallo tamarin huh? did you all buy your hallo tamarin if you have not bought it i request you to buy it it's very essential huh? all the exercises in the book are there with their answers it is when you are in book 1 i do not insist but when you are in book 2 i recommend it okay brothers and sisters and when you are book 3 i don't recommend i insist <laughs> are you with me you must buy that it will be very useful to you and remember one thing brothers and sisters one hallo tamarin per family you don't have to have your individual but textbook you must have your own huh if you have five members in the family there should be five sets but if you have five members in the family one hallo tamarin is enough uh, for the family okay inshallah idaun ahziyatun ahziyatun there is a special uh, pattern for this ahziyatun afailatun uh, are you with me brothers and sisters asilatun ajwibatun amsilatun that is the pattern did you get it brother yeah. so that is what it is ha huh, brother dinun adyanun no but whether if you are familiar with quran and other islamic literature these things are very common you know juhrun juhurun fuulun or ajharun afalun ajharun ha huh? juhurun or ajharun zanbun zunubun fuulun ha huh? sujudun on that pattern ha huh? or you can say shuyukhun duyufun buyutun ha huh? this that is the pattern brother shahinatun is a truck shahinatun shahi natun ha huh? jama muannath salim fa malbasun malabis ma sha allah qaidatun qawaidun ha aur qaidatun also ha but qawaid very very common brother qawaid is mafailu ha inshallah jasus jawasis ma sha allah jawasis very good lisun lususun like buyutun duyufun shuyukhun hadisun ahadisu huh? what is the pattern mafailu huh? mafatihu manadilu huh? 
Very good, brothers and sisters. What does Rangul mean? Uh, sin, brother. Sin. Your mistakes. Adhil kulla kalimatin mimma yati fi jumlatin mufidatin. Brother, I urge you to practice this at home. As you have a weekend coming, make it a try. Uh, and, and use them in s- sentences. Here is my advice. Make simple sentence. Uh, life is already very complicated. Don't make it more complicated by <laughs> trying to make complicated sentence. Make simple sentence. Uh, inshallah. Salla. Salaitu. I prayed. And just you can say Zohar or Maghrib. Whatever you know. Saraka, Saraka Ahdun, somebody stole, Kutubi, or whatever you want to say. Mana'a, Mana'al Mudarisu, Bikalami, okay, Mudaris, stop from talking. Mana'a, now you can say Mana'a, Na Al Mudarisu, Mudaris stopped us with talking, okay. Surra. Huh? Okay. Surirtu bi kalamika. Surirtu bi kalamika means I was pleased with your talk, with your speech. Al harbu kutilu kafirun minan nasi fil harb. Hadihil ayam, you can say, you know. Muazzamu. Muazzamu. Malabif. Wasikhatun. Most of my clothes are dirty. And auriduan agasilaha. I want to wash it. Okay. Anything that you can think of, inshallah. Ibnu Kaza wa Kaza. Now, this is the style of, of saying, you know, I'm, I'm 20 year old. Uh, so you can say Umari uh, Umari Ishruna Sanatan or you will say Ana Ibnu what will you say? Anabnu uh, what will you say? Anabnu uh, Ishrina Sanatan are you with me brothers and sisters? let me write down uh, Anabnu Let us analyze it. Ana. Ana. Muptada. Are you with me? Let's do it in detail. Ana. Damirun. Munfasilun. Mabniyun. Ala. Sukun. Fi mahalli. Rafa'in. Muptada. Now this is only if you are writing a your BA examination or something like that. But for us, Ana Muptada is good enough. But we should be able to do it in detail also. Where is the Khabar? Ibnu. Huh? Ibnu. Huh? Khabarun marfuun wa alamatu rafai huh? dammatun zahiratun. Fine. Wa huwa mudaf. Ishreena mudafun ilahi majroorun wa alamatu jarrihi Al-Yahu. Huh? Al-Yahu. Because it is on the pattern of Jama Muzakar Salim. Huh? Are you with me, brother? Huh? Sanatan. Tamiz. Mansubun. Khalas. Huh? That's the way we can analyze it also, inshallah. Brother and sister, where are we now? Salasi Miyatin. Number 24. في ثلاثي مئات لفظ مئات مجرور بالإضافة. What is the meaning of إضافة, brother and sister? Possessive case. إضافة is possessive case. You know, means uh, it is مضاف إليه. أما ثلاث 
Amma Salasun. What is the meaning of Amma Salasun? As for Salasun, what came after that? Fa came. Please highlight Fa. Because that will remind you that after Amma, the use of Fa is mandatory. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Highlight the Fa. Amma Salasun. For you are Abu. Bihaspil amili, according to the agent. Okay. Look at these three beautiful examples. See how nicely Dr. Abdurrahim defines everything in the book. With little bit of help from the teacher, brothers and sisters, the book three becomes the most enjoyable learning experience. In the Salasu miyati riyalin. So, brothers and sisters, in the, can it be muftida? No way. In the zarf shibu jumla khabar. Ya mutakalam mudaf nahi. Where is our muftida? Salasu, mashallah. Wa huwa mudaf and miyati mudaf nahi. Wa huwa mudaf and riyalin mudaf nahi. Can you see miyati? You cannot make it miyatin because it is coming to us as a mudaf also. So mudaf cannot have tanwin. All these small, small rules should be uh, uh, in our mind, inshallah. Uridu salasa. So mafulun bihi. Wahua mudaf and miyati mudafilehi. Wahua mudaf and riyalin mudafilehi. Okay, I'm sorry I rushed. Huna salasu marfun li annahu. Muftida. Wahuna salasa mansubun li annahu. Waful. Is it clear, brothers and sisters? You can read it and understand. Huh? You can translate yourself and you can read it and understand 100%, inshallah. Ishtaraitu hadhi sata. Okay, brother and sister. Ishtaraitu. Where is fiel? Ishtarai. Where is the fiel? Ishtarai. And what is tu? File. And what is hazihi? Mafulunbi. And what is Sa'ata? Badal. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah. Huh? Isn't it beautiful, brothers and sisters? You can understand it thoroughly, inshallah. B, harf jar. Then what will happen to the next noun? It will become majroor. Salasi. So Salasi is ism majroor. Wa huwa mudaf. Miyati mudaf ilayhi. Wa huwa mudaf. And riyalin. Final mudaf ilayhi. Huna salasi majroorun bilbai. Clear, inshallah, brothers and sisters. Wa mithlu salasi miyatin. And the example of salasi miyatin. Wa khwatuha. And its sisters. What are the sisters? Who are they? Arbau miyatin. Wa khamsu miyatin. Wa ila tisu miyatin. Everything will apply to them. From... Salasu miyatin tu tisu miyatin. The same rulings will apply. Okay. Ikrail adad. Read the numbers. Fima yali. Kiraatan sahihatan. Okay, brothers and sisters. Just for your information. Have you got your highlighters? Keep your highlighters handy. I will only ask you to highlight kiraatan. Uh, Just highlight kiraatan. Sister Afsa, Sister Abhi, Sumaya, Kiraatan. What is Kiraatan? It's Mansu. Mafulun Mutlak, MashaAllah. Sister Arifa, may Allah bless you with more knowledge. Huh? She remembered. It is Mafulun Mutlak. Can you see the verb? Ikra. So it is the master from that verb. Huh? Mafulun Mutlak is very much prevalent in Quran. It comes all the time. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters. Sahihatan will be the nath for kirahatan. Fi hazal kitabi. Okay, brothers and sisters. Fi hazal kitabi. Fi haza is a majroor. And kitabi? Badal. Huh? Masha'Allah. Huh? Uh, khamsa, khamsu miyatin. Safahatin. Khamsu 
Muftada, huh? and you know it. Huh? Just I, if I'll tell you Muftada or Khabar or whatever it is. Karatu huh? Minha, I read from it. Arba'a. So what is Arba'a? Mafulun bihi, mashallah. Excellent. Huh? Brothers well, and sisters, Atadkiratu is ticket. Samanu Tazkirati Tesu. So what is Samanu? Muftada. Mudah, mudah. Where is the Khabar? They say, oh, mashallah. Very good, brothers and sisters. Istaraitu haza. Haza sivar. What is the sivar? Bangles. Huh? Bangles. Sivar is your bangles. Istaraitu haza sivar. B. Harfjar came. So what will be? Sab'i. Huh? Isam majlur. Very good, brother. Now, this is a very interesting. Sentence, brother, number four. Yadrusu fi hadhil kuliyati. Yadrusu fi'alun mudariyun marfu'un biddammatil zahirati. Fine. Shall I say Damir Mustatir? No, brother, do not say till you read the whole sentence. Huh? Otherwise, we can make a mistake. Where is the file? Let us see the sentence. Huh? Fi hadhihi al-kulyati, are we interested in this as a file? No. Fi harjar, hadhihi, we don't. Sittu. That is your file for yadrusu. See how interesting it becomes? Sittu is your file for yadrusu. Sittu miyati talibin. Another interesting sentence. Jiyatu ilal madinatil munarati. What is the meaning of Jiyatu ilal madinatil munawarati? I came to, to Madina Munawara. Ama. What is Ama? Zar. And what do you see on Ama? What do you see, Sister Sukhaina? One fatah. Huh? It's not tanween. So if it is one fatah, means there will be mudafilai following. Are you with me? We won't call Ama Mudaf, Sister Sukhaina, but it gives us a clue that it is Zarf. Now Mudaf Ilahi will follow. So what is the next uh, Arba? E. So what is Arba E? Mudaf Ilahi Majroorun. Got the idea? Alhamdulillah. Huh? Brothers and sisters, number 25. Huh? Al Yahudu. Now, in this particular case, I would like to read the key. Because the key gives a beautiful, beautiful examination, example. Sir. Let us take the key. Brother. Even I cannot explain you better than what Dr. Has, Dr. Sahib has explained in the key. Huh? So keep the key very handy, brothers and sisters. Let us see what Dr. Sahib has to explain us. Page 22, exercise, uh, exercise number 9. Eh? Al-Yahudu is a gen- generic plural noun. Generic? We are very familiar with generic, you know, generic medicine. Eh? No frill. <laughs> no frill supermarket, eh? generic. Eh? No brand names, you know, they are too costly. Okay. Ismu Jinsi. Jama'iyun means generic plural nouns are of two kinds. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Those which make their singular with ya. So, brother, Arabun is a generic plural, huh? means all Arabs. When you say Arab, means all Arab. When you say Yahud, means all Jews. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Arabiyun means one person. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? No, you have to differentiate between this with the ya of nisbah. Remember? That is different. Okay, that gives you a particular relationship with certain country or certain thing. Here, it just makes it a singular of the plural. Are you with me? Arab is a plural. One Arab is Arabi yun. Fine, brother. Okay. And uh, Turkun 
means all Turks. Huh? And if you say one Turk, Turkiyun. Inklizun is all English. But if you say Inklizun means one Englishman. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Huh? So Yahud, Al Yahud will become Yahudi Yun. Huh? Fine, brothers and sisters. Note that this Yah is not the Yah of Nasab. Huh? Okay? Brother, under Nasab, put a head, un- underline it with pencil. And what will you write down? Nasaba Vatsin. What will you write down? Nasaba, Nasabun with Sin. And then you will write down relation. Relative, you can say, or relationship, you can say. Whatever you want to say. Because that nasab denotes relation. Are you with me, brother and sister? So this will make it very clear in your mind. Huh? Sister Hafza huh? is not the ya of nasab, not of the ya of relationship, huh? which we have just uh, learned. Okay? Now, number two, those which make their singular with ta marbuta. Huh? So, brother, if you say tufahun, that's a generic plural, means apples. Huh? But if you say I ate an apple, then you will say tufaha tun. When you say mouse, bananas. But one banana, mausatun. Huh? Very easy to remember. Samakun, samakatun, one fish, brother. Very good. Shajarun, trees. One tree, shajaratun. Okay, brother, sister. Fine, brother. To understand the use of singular and plural, consider the following example. Beautiful examples, brother. If the doctor asks you what fruit you like, you say, uhibbul mauza, means I like bananas. Huh? And if he asks you how many you eat after lunch, you will say, akulu Mauzatan, I ate one banana. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Very good. In the same way, you say, Ohibbul Araba, I love all Arab people, Lianna Nabiya, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Arabim, because the, our Prophet was Arab. So I love all Arab people. Huh? Note that the dual is formed from this singular. Huh? Arabi Yani, two Arabs, not Arabani. <laughs> okay, that will be wrong. So Mauzatani, not Mauzani, that will be wrong. Did you get the idea? How beautifully Dr. Sam explained us. Huh? So inshallah you got the idea, brothers and sisters. So now we read it. Yahudu Ismu Jinsin Jamaiyun. Wasmu jinsil jamai yu huwa lazi yufraku. Is there a dhamma on kaf? No, then put a dhamma. Yufraku. What is yufraku? Majhul. Yufraku is majhul. You see? Yufraku is majhul. Bainahu wa baina wahidihi bil ya'i. Aw bita'i. Fine, brother. Amsilatul ifradil bil ya'i. Yahudu, Yahudiyun, Arabu, Arabiyun, Rumun, Romiyun, Turkun, Turkiyun, Inkli, Zun, Inkliziyun. Clear, brothers and sisters? Alhamdulillah. Wa amsilatul ifradi bittai, samakun, samakatun, shajarun, shajaratun, tufahun, tufahatun, enabun, grapes. Inabatun, one grape. Huh? Mauzun, mauzatun, habbun, huh? seeds. And habbatun, one seed. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Alhamdulillah. Huh? Interesting, but brother needs revision. Huh? Inshallah. As much as you can revise. Huh? I have so many students uh, who completed book three, you know, and they say, you know, it was very easy for us to 
understand fully book two. Book two was piece of cake. Yalwa <laughs> Puti. And uh, book two also was easy. But they say, you know, if we don't revise book three, we tend to forget the concepts. So book three needs to be revised, you know, inshallah. Okay, brothers and sisters, let us take a break and uh, enjoy some snacks and then we'll come back. Brothers and sisters, we are back from our uh, tea break. Alhamdulillah, you all enjoyed the snacks and hot tea on this one of the coldest day of the year. Okay, when the temperature outside is minus 20 and minus 25, we are sitting in the comfort of this beautiful community center sipping tea and enjoying snacks and, and trying to study Arabic language. <laughs> it's a mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Alhamdulillah. Brothers and sisters, lesson number four is the introduction of Ismul Fail and Ismul Maful. Now you must also remember, we must remember, uh, what do we call it in English? Uh, Ism Fail is called active participle. An active participle. Huh? It's all in the key, brother and, uh, uh, Hassan. It's all in the key. Huh? And uh, ism maful is called passive participle. One thing you must always, always remember. You cannot make ism maful from intransitive verb. The verb has to be transitive for us to make ism Maful out of it. Now this is a rule we must remember, huh? Inshallah. I will read from the key, brothers and sisters. Al ismul file, active participle. In English, one who reads is called reader, and one who writes is called writer. In Arabic, a noun on the pattern of fa'ilun is derived from the verb. To denote the one who does the action. Huh? Inshallah. Kataba Katibun. What is the meaning of Katibun? Writer. Huh? Saraka Eastol. Sarikun thief. Abada Abid. Huh? Worshipper. Khalaka Khalik. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Brothers and sisters. In the Quran, in Allah Falikul Habbi. Manawa. Brother, analyze. In harfu tawkidin wa nasbin Allahu lafzul jalalati ismu inna mansubun. Are you with me? Very good, brother and sister. Always when you talk about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we'll start with lafzul jalalati. And brother, faliku. Khabru inna. What will you say? Khabru inna marfu'un. Are you with me? Wa huwa mudaf. And al-habbi mudaf ilayhi. And then waw harfu atf. And what is annawa? Mautufun ala habbi. 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 Majroor. Nawa, you don't see the sign of uh, Majroor, why? It is like Mustashfa or Mustafa or Fatah. I think we have already done it. I do remember we were learning Maksur, Ismul Maksura. You remember Mankus and Maksura. What is Maksura? Mustashfa. Huh? So in that noun, brother, the last letter is Alif. Okay? It cannot have Dhamma, Fatah, Kasra. What happens? If it is Marfu, Dhammatun, Mukhadara. If it is Mansu, Fatahatun, Mukhadara. If it is Majroor, Kasratun, Mukhadara. So define it now, brother. Faliku, Khabru inna, Marfuun, wa alamatu rafaihi, Dhammatun, Zahira. No, we don't say that. It is for us to understand. Faliku means the one who splits. Okay, uh, Sister Manas, when you see Ism file, we do not say it is Ism file. 
it is understood that it is a samphaya. Huh? It is coming from falaka, falikun. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now, al-habbi, mudafun ilahi majrurun, wa alamatu jarrihi, al-kasratun, zahiratun. Wow, harfu atfin, and then nava. Mautufun ala habbi, majrurun, wa alamatu jarrihi, kasratun mukaddara. Ala akhirihi. What will you say? Ala akhirihi. At the end of it. Uh, if you want to mention. It's nice to mention. Okay. Ala akhirihi. Did you get it, brothers and sisters? This is how you analyze. In book three. Huh? Ismul maf'ul. Passive participle. This is a noun on the pattern of maf'ul. Maf'ulun. Maf'ulun. Derived from the verb to, do not, to denote the one who suffers the action. I can also say one who receives the action. Huh? Fine, brother and sister. Katala, he killed. Maktulun, the one who has been killed. Khalaka, he created. Makhluk, Makhluk is not the creator. Khalik is the creator. Makhluk is the one who has been created. Huh? Fine, brother. Sarra. Now, this is a noun which requires a little bit more attention. Brother. Sarra. No, it is form one, brother. Mudaf, like Hajja. But in this Sarra, the file is always something else. Sarrani Kalamuka. Where is the file? Kalamu. Sarrani. So, mafulun bihi is ya mutakkalam. Your speech pleased me. This is the way this verb will be used. You know, something pleased someone. Are you with me? Okay, something pleased someone. Okay. So, that thing which pleased will be the file. Okay. Inshallah. And then, and then, Surra, surirtu, I was pleased. Are you with me? I had written it down. I hope you will remember. Or if I get another opportunity, I will again write it down. Uh, to explain you in, 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 a, in, a, in a nice way, the, the use of sarra. It's important. Uh, otherwise, we always remain confused, you know. Masrurun. Huh? That is the ism mafur. Huh? Masrurun, he who is pleased. Huh? He who is pleased. Fine, brother. Remember, book two, lesson number one. Ana masrurun bi likaika. I am happy to meet you. Huh? Fine, brother and sister. Kasara. Maksurun. That received the action of the kasara, broken. Now, brothers and sisters, al kalamu maksurun, book one, lesson number one. <laughs> but now we understand how the maksurun is made. It is coming from kasara, and it is ismu mafaul. I think we did it in lesson number three, al kalamu maksurun. Fine, brother and sister. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "La taata." Oh, brother, this is so beautiful. Taata. This is la anafiyatu lil jins. Did I explain you this before? La anafiyatu lil jins. Okay, if I did not, then I won't do it now, huh? because it will take a lot of time for me to give you a thorough. Uh, uh, understanding of la and nafiyatu lil jins and brothers and sisters this is one of the most beautiful style of Arabic language I should say the most and the uh, beautiful most beautiful this is the most beautiful and the most important uh, expression in, in Arabic 
language. See, the first words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. La ilaha. You know, what is this la ilaha? And if you really don't know the meaning of this, this expression, brother, you have missed out. You have missed out. La ikraha fiddin. Alif la meem zalikal kitabu la raiba. These are all la nafiyatu lil jinsa. Rabbana wa la tuhammilna ma la what, are, what is going on here? We got to understand. This is the most, one of the most beautiful things I should say in Arabic language. It is not in any other language. Huh? Okay, that is why the, the, the kuffars of Makkah were astounded. They were shocked when they heard La ilaha illa huwa or illa lahu. This was the most you know, kind of a, a, a heavy duty punch on their, their beliefs, you know, because they used to believe in all those deities, you know, 360 or more. And one statement, there is no deity in this whole universe worthy of worship except Allah. So if we understand this, you know, then Alhamdulillah, you will be so pleased, you know. And every time you say, La ilaha, you know what's going on in the sentence and what you are saying. Huh? Inshallah, we'll, we'll learn very soon, inshallah. But I did not explain you this before in the class? No, no I will try, inshallah, next time. Okay, brother. La ta'ata. Absolutely no obedience of any kind. Li huh? makhlukin. For the crea- creation. Huh? Huh? Fi maasati khalaki. If it amounts to disobeying the creator, you cannot obey anybody else. If your obedience huh, to somebody else who's cre- who has been created, uh, brothers and sisters, what did I say? If your obedience to someone who has been created amounts to the disobedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, no. No, see, I cannot express the, the intensity and the power unless I understand one thing. What is it? La ta ta. See, it is ta ata mansub. No, no alif lam there and no tanween there. Brother, if, if, it is, if it is not alif lam in front, then there should be tanween. If there is no tanmin, then there should be alif lam. That's the rule we have learned. But in this particular case, there is no alif lam and there is no tanmin. So what kind of a noun is this? It is mansub, I can see. I can see fatah. It is mansub. Why it is in this particular situation and in particular fashion? Huh? Because of the la. And what kind of a la is this? It's called la and nafiyatu. Law of negation. Lil jins means it negates the, everything in that species. The, the English word for jins is genus. And when you read in the dictionary genus, you'll be surprised. Brother? Okay. In this creation, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put everything in, in the form of species. We are human beings. Brother. Maybe our colors are different, but uh, still we are same. Our bloods are, blood is same. Are you with me? When you see cats, it's a species. When you see dogs, that is a species. When you see fish, birds, they are all species. These examples are not in the book, but you can think about it. When you understand the meaning of la and nafiyatu lil jins, brothers and sisters, we can think about more examples. Okay, that is the meaning, brothers and sisters. Okay? See, so it is, Makhlukin means one who has been created. And Khalik means the one who is the creator. No creature has to be obeyed if it involves disobedience to the creator. That is the very powerful hadith, you know. Okay, another interesting thing, brothers and sisters. Ma anabi gafilin amma tamalu. 
This is another beautiful thing in Quran, brothers and sisters. What kind of ma is this? This is called ma al hijaziya. I am not unmindful of what you are doing. This ma is called ma al hijaziya. And acts like, okay, brother. Makes things easy. What is the speciality of laisa? Okay, it has an ism and it has a khabar. And laisa khabar is always mansub or it can be majroor with b. Ana lastu b ganiyan or ana lastu ganiyan. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? That is the case. It is. So ma exactly exactly behaves like that. Okay, and it is very important for us to understand so that we can understand the sentences in the Quran which are ma al-hijaziyah. Okay, sentence which conveys the, the meaning of ma al-hijaziyah. Okay, brothers and sisters, fine. It is used in nominal sentence. Oh, fine, brothers and sisters. And after its introduction, the khabar is rendered. Mansub, like Laisa. The Khabar may also take an extra Harfjar, Ba. Huh? And rend- rendering it Majru. So when it takes Ba, we will say Majrurun Lafzan and Mansubun Mahlan. Huh? When we have to explain it, inshallah. Huh? We have in the Quran, Ma Haza Basharan. Huh? Who said this? This is from the story of Yusuf alayhi salam. Okay, when the ladies uh, who were invited to the house of where, where Yusuf alayhi salam was, and when they saw, they said, he's not a human being. Ma haza basharan. Okay, brother, this is ma al hijaziyatu. Yamalu amala laisa. Yamalu amala laisa. That's the job of laisa. Uh, so, brother, what is haza? Ismu ma al hijaziyatu. What is it? <laughs> Marfoon. Are you with me? So, you will say haza ismu ishara. Mabnun ala sukun fi mahalli rafa'in ismu ma al hijaziya. Fine, other brothers and sisters. And what is basharan? Khabaru. Mahijazia, Mansubun. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? So this is this is not a human being. Here the khabar is Mansub. We ha- also have example of the khabar having ba. Uh, okay, brothers and sisters. So where is the ismu? Mahijazia, uh, Allah. Where is the khabar Mahijazia? Bigafilin. Huh? Majrurun lafzan and mansubun mahlan. Inshallah, you will remember. That's the end of the story, brother. That's all we are going to learn in lesson number four. It's very interesting, inshallah. Huh? Okay. And look at every dialogue. Huh? Every dialogue in the sentence. I-, I want you to take a note of it, brother. Al bara'u. What is the meaning of bara'u? Innocent. Huh? Innocent. What is the meaning of al barau? Innocent, brother. Also, it means free. Also, it means free from any blame. Huh? Or clear. Nuridu an narifa natijatal khtibari shahriyi ya ustad. Translation, brother. We want to know the result of the monthly examination. Ya Ustad. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? al huh? What is the... What kind of a word is this? Iqtibar. This is form, form 8. Iqtibar. Huh? Iftial. So it is a master. <laughs> what is the verb? Ikhtabara yakhtabiru. Are you with me? Ikhtabara yakhtabiru. 
Also it means same thing as imtahana yamtahinu. Imtihan. Ikhtibar means imtihan. Are you with me brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Both of them are from form 8. Fine. Okay brother. Al-Harithu. If you want to write it down brother. Next to it. Harasa Yaharuthu. What is it? Harasa Yaharusu. Write down on the side. Means that is the verb and what is Al-Haris? Ism file. Uh, farmer, yes, but ism file. One who tells the field, brothers and sisters. Kam rasiban. Kam has come, brother. What is rasiban? Tamiz. No, brother. Rasiban. Look at it. What is rasiban? Ism file. Are you with me? Now, Dr. Abdurrahim is going to ask us, go back to the lesson. Is takhraj min a small... Uh, Failina was small mafur lina, but we do it right away from the beginning. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? No, you when you see a some fahil or a some mafool, you will also see or identify the verb madi and mudaria. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So brother, that's why I say haris. What is the verb? Harasa Yahruthu Bab Nasara. And when I say Rasiban Rasaba yar subu. Bab nasara. Yar subu. Okay? All these things should be uh, noted down. Sister Sumaya, is it clear, inshallah? Kam rasiban fi faslina ya ustaz. Translation, brother. How many failed in our class, ya ustaz? Kullukum najihun. <laughs> well, alhamdulillah, everybody passed. So, kullukum. What is kullu? Mubtada. Wa huwa mudaf. And kum, mudaf ilayhi. And where is the khabar? Najihun. Okay, but then, najihun. So, what is this? Ism five. What is the verb? Najaha yan jahu. Yan jahu. Interesting, brothers and sisters? It's very interesting. You will love it. Huh? Inshallah. Nahnu masruruna. Uh, we are very happy. Huh? What is masruruna? Jama muzakar salim. So what is singular? Masrurun. Now what is masrurun? Ism maf'ul. What is it? Ism maf'ul from sarra. Yasurru. Sarra Yasurru. Sarra is mudaf. Huh? Where the Ain Kalima and Lam Kalima are identical. Fine. Hal min rasibin fil fusul lil ukhra. Are there any failures in the other classes? Is it clear, brother? Again, rasibin came, you know. Naam. Wala kinnal rasibina. Oh, 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 see how beautiful the sentence is. Wala kinnal rasibina. But what is rasibina? Ismu la kinna mansub. It has to be mansub. So it became from rasibun, it became rasibuna. And from rasibuna, it became rasibina. So see, we can understand now. Can you imagine the same thing will happen when you will be studying Quran? You will be able to understand what goes on, brother. Huh? Huh? Few. Few. Kalilun is also Jama Mudakar Sare. Rasibina, but the failures, the people who failed, are few. Are you with me, brother? Muhammad? Yes. The people who failed are few. Man kati buhaza ala saburati. Who is the writer of this? Okay. Are you with me? Katib is the? Uh, is the Ismu file. Uh, but what is Katibu Haza? Mudafilehi. Haza is Mudafilehi. Writer of this. Uh, Brother Samad. Abdul Samad. Haza here is Mudafilehi. Uh, Manadri means we don't know. 
Huh? Brothers and sisters. Wajad na hu. See? Wajad na hu maktuban. We found it written. Now, brothers and sisters, remember. Wajada yajidu can also have two mafulun bihi. Okay? So, brother, where is the verb? Wajad. What is na? File. Huh? Okay? Who is mafulun bihi number one? And maktuban is mafulun bihi number two. Huh? This is very interesting lesson. It will make you very strong. Okay? Maktuban, sister Arifa. What is maktuban? Mafulun. You have to keep in your mind the pattern. Fa'ilun and maf'ulun. This pattern should be in front of our mind. Huh? So makdubun is kataba, yaktubu wa huwa katibun and maktubun means something written. Okay? In dama when dakhalnal fasla, when we entered the class. We found it written, we entered the class. Yuturaku al faslu yutrakul faslu what is the meaning of this the classroom is left majhul uh, yutraku is majhul taraka yatruku uh, so yatruku became yutraku uh, al faslu classroom is uh, left maftuhan Open. The classroom is left open. Huh? And so some students enter it. Min jihatin from different areas or sides. Mukhtalifatin. Oh, what is this? Mukhtalifatin. Mu has come. Ism file. What is the verb? Ikhtalafa. What is the verb? Uh, let me write it down, brother. Huh? Let me write it down. Ikhtalafa. Huh? Huh? That is your verb. Huh? And yakhtalifu. And isam file is mukhtalifun. Huh? Fine. And what is the root, brothers and sisters? Khalafa. This is your root. Okay, brothers and sisters? Maza hmm? namalu. What is the meaning of maza namalu? What shall we do? Well, kuflu maksurun. The lock is broken. Maksurun kasara yaksiru. Wahua kasirun wa maksurun. And okay, maftuhun. Fataha yaftahu wa huwa fatihun and maftuhun. It's easy, isn't it, brother? We studied these nouns in book one, but we dare not go in detail. But now you are ready to go in detail because now you have achieved a level of understanding which will make it very easy for you to understand all these things, inshallah. Hal min zahibin zahaba yazhabu wa huwa zahibin. The person who is going. Hal min zahibin ila suq al yawm. Is anybody going to the suq today? Ghalib said, ana zahibun. I am going, inshallah. But then I forgot one thing. You see, Haris, we did it. Huh? What is the next? Mudaris, we know Mudaris, also a smooth file. Huh? But not from Fel Sulasi. Huh? Mujarat, but it is from Fel Sulasi, Mazid. Darrasa, Yudarrisu, Mudarris. But the Khalid, what is Khalidun? Fahilun. See, now this is the beauty of Dr. Abdurrahim. Even the names that he is choosing. They are all his <laughs> Isn't it wonderful, brother? Look at his farsightedness. Huh? Isn't it beautiful, brother? 
I, when I observe these things, I, I just, uh, you know, think of him as a, you know, an, a person who has a vision to teach us the language of the Quran. Khalidun, what is the verb, brother? Khalada, yakhludu. Khalada, yakhludu. Fine, brother. And then what is the next name, brother? Hamidud. What is the verb? Hamida, yahmadu. Hamida, yahmadu. All these things, you should note it down, brother and sisters. Okay. And now, brother, comes Ghalib. When you think of Ghalib, you think always of Mirza Ghalib. <laughs> okay. Ghalaba yaglibu. Wahuwa Ghalib. And then Maglub. Huh? And Hamidun, uh, Hamida Yahmadu, Wahua Hamidun, and then Mahmud. Uh, Mahmud is coming from there. Ana Zahibun, inshallah. Al Mudaris, Arju Antashtari. Yeah, remember, Antashtariya. I request you to buy what? Kuflan Jaidan. A good lock. Huh? Galib, inshallah. Ikra layat al waridati fit darsi ya arifu ya arif. Huh? Arafa ya arifu. Wahua arifu. Arifu. Huh? Huh? arifu. Wahuna uhtuna arifa. What is arifa? It's a file with tamar muta. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Huh? You did not think of Sister Arifa as a some file? <laughs> Alhamdulillah. See how beautiful and meaningful the names are. Now, Warida. Warida. What is Warida? File. What is the verb? Warada. Warada to mention. Huh? Warada to mention, brother. Fine, brothers and sisters. Arif. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وسارك وسارك تو see how it is سارك وسارك تو so عارف وعارفة تو okay you got the idea فكتاو أيديهما جزاء بما كسبا هذا كسبا مسنا goes to ألف is the file goes to Sarik and Sarikatu. Faktau Felamar Mabnun Allah Hazifi Noon. Got the idea, brother and sister? Alhamdulillah. Okay. What is this idea, Huma? What kind of a noun is this, Sister Madina? You should write it down. Huh? This is important. You should write it down. Huh? Okay, brother? Here is the singular. What is the singular? Yadun. And what is the plural? Aydin. What is Aydin? Mankus. Yeah. Huh? It is Mankus. Put Alif Lam. Now, brothers and sisters, huh? when you make this noun, Aydin Mansu, the Ya will come out. Are you with me? So it is Aydiya Huma. Their hands, uh, both of them. I want you to understand Yadun, the plural is Aydin. Huh? And if you put Alif Lam, it will become Al ID. But here, brothers and sisters, Faktau. And cut, cut what? We need Mafulun Bihi. So it became Aidiya. Huh? Mafulun Bihi. And Huma is Mudafilihi. Aidiya Mafulun Bihi, wa Huwa Mudaf. And Huma is Mudafilihi. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Huh? You got the idea? Inshallah. Mashallah. Innaka kahriyun jayidun. Brothers and sisters, innaka. You know what is ka here? Kahriyun. 
What is carrying on? Ismu file from Kara Yakrau Wahua Kariun Awa Makruun. Something which is red. Lam Asmaka. I did not hear you. Takraul Quran Amin Kablu. I did not hear you recite the Quran before. A Hafizun Anta. Hafizun. What is Hafizun? Hafiza Yafazu. Wahua Hafizun. Wa. My them. See how easy and beautiful it is, brothers and sisters. Fine. Naam. Then Mudaris is saying to Ma Anabi Gafilin Amma Tamalu Ya Mansur. So, in one sentence, we got two things Gafilun, Gafala, Yagfulu. Uh, gafala, yagfulu, okay. Bahuwa uh, gafilun. Now, brothers and sisters, as I said, when you see the hallo tamarin, all these things are there. Uh, so, you can also check your answers later on, whether uh, the mudariya is bab nasara or daraba or fatah. The, the key will guide you. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Fine, brother. So that was Ghafil is ismu file from Ghafala. What about Mansur? Nasara. Nasara Yansuru wa huwa Nasirun wa Mansur. Huh? Ismu Maful. Huh? Oh, mashallah. So here comes Mansur. So again, the name which has a meaning in it, that it is Ismu Maful. Arju an tasmah li bil khuruj. Fa inni uridu an azhaba ila nasikhin. وَإِنِّي أُرِيدُ أَنْ أَزْهَبَ إِلَنْ نَاسِخِ Okay. أَرْجُوَ أَنْ تَحْسْمَحْ لِي بِالْخُرُوجِ فَإِنِّي أُرِيدُ أَنْ أَزْهَبَ إِلَنْ نَاسِخِ What is the translation, brother? I request you to permit me uh, to, to exit because فَإِنِّي It means because I want to go to registrar. Huh? Nasik has two meanings, brother. Okay, what is Nasik? It's some file. Nasakha. Yan Sahu. Bab Fatah. Nasakha Yan Sahu. Okay, brother. It also means copier, one who copies. But it also means registrar in a school or a university. Are you with me, brothers? Okay, I want to go to the Nasik. La Asma Laka Bizalik. La La Asmahu Laka Bizalik. I won't permit you with that. Ala Tarifu, don't you know? Anna al Khuruja. Ala Tarifu. Anna al Khuruja. Fi Athnai Darsi during the lesson. Mamnu'un. Mamnu'un. Mana'a yamna'u wa huwa mani'un wa mamnu'un. Brother, tell me, isn't it easy? Lawfully, <laughs> brother. We knew these things, but now we are learning how these nouns are made. Huh? Masha'Allah, Masha'Allah. Huh? Mansur, ana asifun. Huh? What is the meaning of ana asifun? I'm sorry. So asifun is a ism file. What is the verb? Asifa. Huh? What is the verb? Asifa. Huh, brother? Asifa. Ya. Safu. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Alhamdulillah. To be sorry. Okay. Fine, brothers and sisters. Atathkurul haditha al waridata fi das sabiki. Can you mention the hadith which is mentioned? Fiddarsi Sabik. Sabik. Sabaka Yasbiku. To proceed. Uh, to come before. Uh, sabaka. Write down, brother. Sabaka Yasbiku. Uh, yeah, all these things will help you because now you are increasing your vocabs. You are increasing your vocabs. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters. 
Ataskurul Hadisa can also mean, do you remember? Do you remember the Hadith mentioned in the previous verse? Naam, and Sahil ibn Sayyidin, and in Nabiya, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, qala, but this is one of the most beautiful Hadith. Huh? Very beautiful Hadith. Ana wa kafilul yatimi. Ana wa kafilul yatimi. What is the meaning of kafilul yatimi? Who looks after the orphans. So beautiful, brother. Who looks after the orphans. Huh? Not only feeds them, but provides them with shelter or arranges a shelter for them, their clothing, their education. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Hmm? So Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, I and the person who looks after the orphan, Fil Jannati, they will be both together. I mean that person in the Jannah will be with Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Who is that person? Who takes care of the orphans. Such a beautiful uh, guidance we get from this hadith, you know. Hakaza. What is the meaning of hakaza? Like this. Huh? And then, ashara. What is the meaning of ashara? What kind of verb is this? Form for Ashara, mudarya, yushiru. Huh? And it's some file, mushirun. Huh? Are you with me, brother and sister? So, ashara means to point out. And he pointed out, huh? this sababati. Well, huh? wusta. Uh, he opened it. Wa farraja. What is the meaning of farraja? To open it wide. Huh? Like that. Huh? Bainahuma. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? You opened it wide. Huh? Huh? Okay. Muttafakun alayhi. What is the meaning of muttafakun alayhi? It is mentioned by both Imam Bukhari and Imam Muslim. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Asanta ya Mansur. You did very well, ya Mansur. Huh? Arju on takuna. Oh, see, brother. What a beautiful sentence. Arju on takuna. I wish you be. Be what? Be what? Samian. <laughs> Listen properly. Lid <laughs> darsi. Listen to the dars properly. Wa. Fahiman lahu and understand it very well. So Samian, what is this, brother? Samia Yasmau Wahua Samian. Wa Masmuun. Fahima Yafahamu Wahua Fahiman and Mafuhuma. Something that has been understood. Interesting, brothers and sisters? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. We will continue, inshallah. Please read the key because this lesson will finish quickly. And then we can proceed with lesson number five. On Monday, inshallah, I urge you to read the key, book three key, every single day. Before you come to the class, before you retire for the night, read a little bit, brothers and sisters. Even half a page, page is good enough. Huh? And you will just increase your understanding and make yourself more strong. Rabbana atina fi dunya asanatam wa fil akhirati asanatam wa kina adhaban naar. Rabbana hablana min azwajina wa zuriyatina kurrata ayunin wa ja'alna lil muttaqina imama Rabbana zalamna anfusana illam taghfir lana wa tarhamna la nakunanna min al-khasirin Rabbana takabbal minna innaka anta samiyul alim wa tub alayna innaka anta tawabu rahim سبحان ربك رب العزة أما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب